and welcome back to the Moldyworm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldyworm4975 and it is 2019 now. It is the 4th of January when I'm recording this video. Uh, and we're playing the Crew 2 today. <coughs> uh, so there's been a few updates on the channel that before I get into this video, I just want to talk about those quickly. So obviously the first thing as you can see is this new um, sort of face cam that I'm going to be hopefully having on most of the videos I upload unless this doesn't work. This is kind of going to be a trial video uh, to see if I can get the face cam working otherwise I'm just not going to bother with the face cam. But I've seen a lot of uh, YouTubers use that and I wanted to have a go at it so uh, I'm using the face cam obviously or if there is no face cam then yeah it's because it didn't work uh, the other things uh, you might have seen that on the channel uh, a lot of the um, a lot of the thumbnails now they well all of the thumbnails should have like a green sort of boundary around them uh, that's so you can see that that is one of my videos and you can be like oh yeah it's got a green thing so it's more and gaming and you can click on it and it's it just sort of identifies the channel a little bit easier we also have a new channel logo and a new channel art that you might have already seen i'm hopefully going to be doing a channel update video just a little short one um but the broadcasting software that i use to screen record on my laptop I don't actually know how to get it to screen record at the moment uh, so I'm gonna be hopefully doing that very soon um, so keep an eye out for that and I'll cover more I'll cover the stuff more in depth in that video uh, but basically just to sum up we've got a face cam we've got a new logo and we've got a new channel art and I've updated all the social media with the new logo and that thing and the website has been updated so if you want to check that out there'll be a link in the description below so with all that out of the way let's get into this video uh, so I've made a few crew 2 videos I've made um, I did an unboxing video and I did the uh, showing you all the different families that you can get but I didn't really well the families on I didn't really talk in that and it wasn't like a proper video this is kind of going to be a half half video so I didn't do a video about the Gator Rush update which came out in September and we've recently had the Demolition Derby update which has come out and I haven't really covered that yet. So in this video I, I want to kind of cover that a little bit. But before we get into that I just wanted to show you guys that um, I have actually 100% completed the game. Well other than the live battle which is a new thing we'll get into that a little bit later but I've done all of the street racing if we go into that you can see I've beaten the uh, guy I've done it all on easy I'm not the best driver so I might go for it again and do it on like the medium mode and then after that you can do it on the ace mode I don't think I'll be able to do anything on ace mode um, but if we go through uh, you can see the street racing drift drag race hype car it's all 100% completed the skills are all 100% and I've taken all the photos as you can see um, it took me quite a while and with each update that they add, they add more races and more photos and all more skills for you to do, which is a little bit of a pain because I've 100 percented it now, but when the next update comes, I won't have 100 percented it, which can get a bit annoying. Um, but as you can see, uh, Demolition Derby is on here um, and I've 100 percented the Demolition Derby on easy. Obviously, I've done all the skills, the photo albums, I've got all the new Demolition Derby photo album uh, photos right there. And I've also done, if we go to um, off-road, yeah, it's in off-road, uh, the Hovercraft one, which came with the Gator Rush. Uh, I've done all the Hovercraft races, and I've got all the Hovercraft photos as well, as well as all the other like photos that come with the game as standard the thing that does annoy me just quickly is if you look at the freestyle it has 
you unlock the hovercraft as uh, in the freestyle. When you beat the main person, you unlock the hovercraft. But the hovercraft is actually in the off-road category. And that actually annoys me a little bit. But yeah, that's just a little nitpicking thing there. Uh, so what I want to do with this... Oh, and I've also completed the live extreme series 100 percent at that as well. Um, I've done the December spectacular you can see right here that's like supposed to be the christmas special one um so yeah that was just a little update i just wanted to show you guys that i've 100 percented it on easy obviously it's not really that hard to do um but what i wanted to do in this video was just show you a little bit of the gator rush content because i haven't actually covered that very well on my channel and also a little bit of the demolition uh, derby stuff so we'll just hop into the general Lee right here and um, if we just go on here I've got I think one or two of the hovercrafts and I've got one or two of the demolition derby cars so we'll go into the hovercrafts and we'll do maybe two races in hovercraft and then I'll do a few demolition derby matches I guess you'd call them uh, because they're quite fun as well and I haven't showed them off so this is one of the demolition derby cars that I've got it is the Fender or they're all called Fender uh, but this is the Fender Vero which is sort of like a supposed to be like a um, a wagon I guess I'm not sure what he's doing but anyway um, so yeah it's supposed to be like a wagon I guess uh, or if you're from England it's called an estate car uh, and the livery that I've got on at the moment is actually a custom livery that I've made uh, so I'm pretty proud of this I think it looks half decent it's got like a face on the front and some nostrils on the bonnet and tyre marks so it's like run over on the on the top and it's just got the O1 on the side just for something on the side and you're dead on the back just to sort of, you know, like the uh, Demolition Derby spirit if you want to call it that. So that's one of the Demolition Derby cars that I've got. The other Demolition Derby car that I think everybody gets or it might be just the season pass owners. I'm a season pass owner but um, I don't know if everybody gets this or just the season pass owners. I think everyone does but anyway um, it's the Fender Rattlesnake so I put this nice monster livery on I think it looks quite cool and then I went for the gold wheels I kind of tried to make it look like the um, the the Huni, Hunicorn I think it's called the you know the Jim Carner car that Ken Block uses I tried to make it look kind of similar to that and I think it looks pretty cool. I'd say this is the one I like more. I like this more than the Vero. Um, so that's the Fender Rattlesnake there. I'll just go ahead and quickly show you the other Demolition Derby cars that you can actually buy in the game. So if we go to the catalogue and we go down, it's here. It's called Fender. So these are the different ones you can get. So you can get the Fender Bulk. Uh, you can get the Fender Firen Frenzy, I think it's called. You can get the Frontera, which is supposed to be like a Bel Air, I guess. Uh, you can get the Fender Rattlesnake, which is the one that I've just shown you, the Jim Carner looking one. Uh, and you can get the Fender Vero, which is the one that I have the custom livery on. So, we've got five we got five cars there which is quite nice new cars um, yeah that's that's all I wanted to show you just wanted to show you those quickly and while we're at it I will actually just quickly show you the hovercraft as well so they're in the uh, proto category and if you just go along so we have the Bumblebee X which is sort of like a quad bikey looking one we have the double LEX, which is like got two propeller things on the back. 
Uh, we've got the speeder, which I think is really cool. It's like a double propeller one, but with a cab as well, which I think is pretty cool. We have the XK Armored, which I actually own one of these, so I'll show you mine in a minute, which is pretty cool. And you get the one that you unlock uh, from beating the Freestyle Champion, which is the Proto XT3. So I've got both of these uh, because you unlock the first one and the other one I decided... Oh no, the other one I think I got with the Season Pass. Um, so I'll just show you both of those quickly and then we'll hop into some um, some of the races. So what have we got here? That's my planes. Oh, so I actually have the Bumblebee X as well. So this is the Bumblebee X. I'll just show you that quickly. It's kind of like a quad bike looking, looking thing. A nice Viper going past there. <laughs> Um, I just went for a nice simple look with them because I didn't really want them too out there. You can get some with like the race liveries. I don't really like race liveries that much. Uh, and then this is the one you unlock. This is the XT3 I think it's called. And I thought it looked quite cool with camouflage. So yeah, it's a nice simple one. And we've got the XK Armoured, I think it is the last one. Yeah. And this is sort of like an off-road looking one. It kind of looks like an Aerial Nomad hovercraft. Which, speaking of the Aerial Nomad, uh, if you're a Season Pass owner, with the Gator Rush update, you actually got the XK Armoured and the... I just said what it's called and now I've forgotten completely what it's called the off-road car um, what is it called the 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 aerial nomad there we go uh, that came with the gator rush update so I'll just show you guys that quickly if you're a season pass owner you got this car automatically it's a pretty cool car I think um, it comes stock with I think like a PI level of about 90 which is pretty high actually for the off-road category um, and this thing has immense handling you can see the way that it sort of leans side to side when you're going off-road that is actually really useful um, so yeah enough about the cars that you get let's hop into one of the uh, I think we'll start with the hovercraft ones. Uh, we'll just do two of the hovercraft ones. I think there's only eight hovercraft races anyway. Um, so we want discipline. We want hovercraft. Oh, so there's ten hovercraft ones. And there's sort of three areas where you can do it. So you've got the bayou area, which is sort of like a swampy kind of thing. You can see it actually says swamp there. If I zoom in you can see it's kind of it's called a hovercraft park and it basically it's like right on the shore it's like swampy kind of land it's kind of cool i quite like that area um then we have the glacier park this is my favorite area to a race up here this is actually really cool uh you kind of go like up here on these tracks uh you kind of go up here and then next minute you're speeding across this like big lake area and you sometimes come up here and go off this jump it's pretty cool and the last area is up here in sort of near Detroit and this is sort of like a beachy kind of area you can call it um, it's sort of like in inland off the thing and you don't really go across this big lake much. You sort of just stay around the outskirts of here. So I think what we'll actually do, instead of, I was going to do two, we'll just do one in each area and then we'll go on to the demolition derby ones. So it's going to be quite a long video, but I'm not too worried about that. If you're not too interested in some of the hovercrafts or the demolition, you can just skip to the to the parts that you prefer so my vehicle my best hovercraft is the XK armored so we'll just go with that 
and the hovercrafts are actually really fun to drive they have kind of like a weird handling physics that they sort of drift which is exactly how hovercrafts would act in real life so that's quite cool that they have that very realistic feel <laughs> And when you actually feeling of a smooth ride over rough terrain. It's when like you actually water. when you actually uh, bump into things, you sort of bounce off them because you have this like cushion of air underneath you, which is obviously how a hovercraft works. And um, yeah, I'm in last place, uh, but ignore that. The way you kind of have to drive these is very awkward. You kind of have to point it into the corner a lot further than you actually want to turn and then it sort of drifts its way around so you've got to sort of point to the inside of the corner and it will drift around the outside of where you're aiming at and just like with all the other cars you do actually have knots on a hovercraft but you can still float to the top that's tough giving us some words of wisdom now well, we're moving up to f fifth place, it's not too bad. <coughs> so this is the sort of swampy area, which is quite a nice place. Um, all of the different areas are quite different, which is nice. We just sent that guy into a tree. I like that they're not just all swampy area, which is kind of where you mainly use hovercraft at, I guess. I don't know if you guys are like keyed up on hovercrafts or anything, let me know in the comment section. We we'll moved up to first place. So these races aren't too bad, like I haven't played crew in a little while. Um, and I haven't played the hovercraft races since the Gator Rush update. So I'm not really used to the way that they drive. But you can see I'm in first place. Well, I was in first place. Um, it's not really too bad to move up. They're quite easy. You get the feel for it after a lap. I think they're all three lap races. After one lap, you get very much used to it. So. You trying to shake things up? There we are. We're in first place again. <coughs> Immediately bump into two trees. Bump or be bumped. That's hovercrafted for you. <clears throat> so yeah, these these races are they're quite long because the hovercrafts don't really go very fast. Uh, but you know. not quite so I'm actually trying to concentrate because it's not the easiest thing to drive these like if you don't believe me to jump on for yourself if you've never driven one of these hovercrafts before jump on for yourself and try and drive it it's not the easiest handling in the world I actually watched the live stream that um, <coughs> the creators did on I think it was on Twitch or it might have been on YouTube, I can't remember. Before they, the day before they actually launched the Gator Rush update, and even some of the creators were struggling with the driving of the hovercraft. Because obviously they'd tested it and whatever, but they'd not properly driven it before. So the first time you actually drive it, you'll probably have the similar experience. And first across the line. <coughs> so they're not too bad. They pay out basically the same as every other race in the game. We're going to get slammed by that guy. You know, they pay out uh, between like 15 and 20. Uh, thousand usually if you do it on easy obviously okay so that was uh, we went down into the bayou 
area down here and we did some hovercrafting down there we will we'll go up to the glacier park this is actually my favorite place to do the races um it's kind of nice in the it's like really clear water it's kind of weird to describe but i don't know if you guys feel the same play have a play of these if you own the crew too and uh, tell me which which area you prefer uh, this is personally my favorite area because you kind of got like this, the green of the trees and the snow and the water and it's it's just quite quite a nice setting not that you really notice the setting that much when you're racing get hovercraft around it doesn't matter what you're driving if you do it in the wild Yeah, I'm not the uh, most, I'm not the most brilliant driver of these hovercraft. <clears throat> What's quite nice as well, if you've actually completed the game, uh, or you've at least beaten the freestyle champion, you get, you unlock the hovercraft from that, uh, I think it's the XT3 or something like that, uh, which I showed you earlier. Um, you can actually use that in the hovercraft races, just like any of the new hovercrafts. So you basically get a free hovercraft. I mean, obviously, I'm sure that's why they did it. You unlock the hovercraft and then they release the hovercraft update and then you can use the hovercraft in that update. But yeah, you, you can use it just like any of the new hovercrafts. And if you're a season pass owner, like I mentioned earlier, you get the XK Armoured, which I'm driving currently, and the Aerial Nomad for free. The new hovercrafts I don't think are too expensive. They're about, I think they're in the hundred thousands, like, I think they're a hundred, two hundred thousand, which isn't actually too bad when you consider that some of the high-end cars, like the newly released Bugatti Chiron, is... I think 1.5 million or something which actually in the crew 2 you can get that amount of money pretty fast uh, it's not like GTA where you've got to grind for hours um, so the hovercrafts aren't ridiculously priced which is quite nice because I think some the hovercraft races are some of the best racing in the game in my opinion I just love the sort of on the water, off the water kind of feel. It's quite, it's quite a uh, unique experience because there's not really any other kind of racing, even in real life, that offers the same sort of um, experience of that, where you can just sort of like bumble along like we are now on the dirt, and then next minute we go onto the water. It's quite a cool. It's quite a cool. Um, Thing that they've added and I don't think there's any other racing games out there especially not the competitors of the crew too that have hovercrafts even in the game never mind hovercraft racing like Forza Horizon doesn't have hovercrafts in it and um, like Need for Speed Payback that doesn't have hovercrafts in uh, so I like that Ubisoft is branching out into different sort of modes of racing other than just the traditional sort of Formula One and street racing and that kind of thing. First place. Which is quite there nice. Vehicle you can't handle? <clears throat> uh, and also I think with the Demolition Derby update that's just come out, that's quite a unique thing because uh, there is a Demolition Derby game I can't quite remember what it's called at this moment. Um, but other than that game, there's not really any other car games, if you get what I mean, that sort of tackle the Demolition Derby thing. And it's a really fun mode. I'll show you that just in a moment. So we got 16 grand from that again. It's pretty decent payout. Um, so that's there. We'll just go on and quickly do the Detroit area and then we'll do two of the Demolition Derby modes. We'll do the sort of two sides to the Demolition Derby modes. There's the 
like demolition derby arena battle kind of thing and then there's the demolition derby races which is more kind of like stock car racing which is sort of like actual racing but also crashing into other people but I'll show you that in a moment so this is the final hovercraft park as they call them uh, <coughs> it's sort of a beachy one it's like on the coastline uh, up near Detroit which is quite nice I like that all the different areas are actually different did I ever tell you about the time I met an amazing girl on the bumper cars? It's a great story. I kept ramming into her totally by accident, because you know, me behind the wheel? Yeesh. Yeah, you do get Hero telling you a few different, um, interesting stories with these, uh, Homocraft races. You'll see throughout each lap, he'll tell us a little bit more of the story. I actually wish there was a way to turn them off. The thing was, she didn't know I was bumping her by accident, and she was getting annoyed. So she bumped me back really hard. Ah, uh, yeah. As I was saying, I wish you could turn him off because he actually does get really annoying. Uh, Ubisoft did a, s a survey a while back, and it was like the acting of the like characters. That. that is exactly how that girl bumped me back. She kept doing that to me over and over and over. Pretty sure that was a sex reference, but yeah. Uh, as I was saying, they did a survey a little while back on how the different actors in the game um, actually like performed, like which which of the characters you prefer most. Um, I don't think there's anyone who really likes Hero. He get, he gets so annoying. So you're kind of racing along the beach and then you sort of go out into the coast a little bit and it's like some jumps like this one, you can jump over the piers and it's a little bit boring this park, I, I don't know if it's because it's like a bit open. So I think all the hovercraft races are actually three laps because that's coming up to third lap right there. Which is fine. They don't take too long, you know. This race is probably gonna last three or four minutes, which is not too bad for some of the shorter races. So coming up to the finish line now on the final lap, we finished in first again, I don't want to brag because it's on the easy mode anyway so there'll be a lot better drivers than me out there but like you can see I haven't driven for a while and I finished first like miles ahead of the pack. So where was I? Um, oh, so we just kept going at each other and after the ride, well one thing led to another and our parents took us for ice cream. Did I mention we were eight? Hey, did you win? Congrats! I was distracted. So there we go. Uh, that is the hovercraft sort of mode, the Gator Rush update. I haven't covered it yet, so I thought I'd just cover that a little bit. And I haven't covered the Demolition Derby yet, so I'm just going to cover that now. So uh, we've got two areas, sort of Demolition Derby um parks they're kind of like the monster truck parks with all the loops and all that kind of stuff they're very similar 
so this one is up near Las Vegas. It's on the salt flats, but it's kind of like out of the way of the salt flats. So if you can see, this is the salt flat area here. It's like way out on the side here. So it's not in the way because a lot of people like to do speed runs and stuff with the new cars that get released so I think Ubisoft have realized that and they don't want to sort of um, block people if you know what I mean so it's nice out of the way uh, this is what the first arena looks like um, and from each sort of <coughs> from each race to each race the arenas will alter slightly and so sometimes there's barricades along this area here and sometimes there's like things in the middle so you can see what it looks like at the moment and you can actually enter these in free mode um, so I'm not sure where the entrance is um, right, the entrance is here you can actually just drive in and you can mess around in here and the demolition derby cars you'll see in a minute they have sort of a, um, a damage like bar on the side and they actually have that in free mode as well so if you want to make your own demolition derby sort of game modes you can actually do that so you can go in these arenas and with the demolition derby cars you can do that <laughs> so we've got the bullfight we'll just load into this I don't <coughs> I don't remember which one this is so we'll just play that I'm losing my voice just a little bit here so just bear with me I'm actually going to go and switch my car out to the uh, Jim Carner style one. <laughs> they all have very similar handling, so one doesn't really alter to the next, but yeah. <clears throat> so you can see how the arena has actually changed. It's got this raised platform now. Um, I believe, yeah, this is one that has water on the side. So, basically, um, you can see on the left-hand side of the Speedo, there's sort of a damage bar. And, basically, how that works is, every time you get bumped, you'll see that it, um... I can see bolts flying from here! It sort of goes down a little bit. And then there's power-ups as well, so there's a boxing glove, which is like a... Yeah, I'm not a really good driver. Boxing Glove is like additional damage, there's a repair bonus sometimes, and you get a points bonus. So the points bonus appears, you can see there, and if you drive into it. And the Demo Derby cars do have knobs as well, uh, just like all the other cars, but it's more of like a short burst rather than like actual knobs. So repair bonus appears there, we've repaired ourselves. I'm not doing very well here actually, I'm not aiming first, but... <coughs> the way that you actually have to do this is look for someone, drive at them and not just before... Two? Good. You're set to head back in. Just before you hit them you need to not, and that will give you a lot of points. So we need to, I, yeah, so that guy knocks just before he hit me. We need to eye someone up who's going to be near the edge. This, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at these races. keep falling up the side and yeah now and then you will get a run like this where you just can't quite get it properly um, and then other times you'll just be whacking, racking the points up even whacking and racking I call it you can see like that person there and we've pushed them out the arena as well so we get a few points for that Uh, but they're very fun uh, game modes. I'm glad that Ubisoft added these. Um, these are the kind of things that make this game more unique. 
compared to things like uh, Forza Horizon and similar games. <coughs> See, we got quite a lot. We got 10,000 points then because we rammed them up. out of the arena. And then if we get the... Uh, yeah, we've got the boxing glove at the moment. If you hit someone with the boxing glove, you get additional damage. So if I can actually find someone that I can hit... bonus you can see it fixes the car <laughs> he came out of nowhere and hit me on the side and we sent a few people off the edge there but we didn't really get any points for that well that was it there you go and then it just sort of teleports you out at the end we you got to reach top three, we got fourth. I'm not the best at those races. <coughs> uh, but you do you do get quite a good payout. Uh, I only got 3,000 then, but if you win, you get sort of the same normal payout that you get from most of the other races, is like between 15 and 20,000 usually, on the easy mode, obviously. Um, so that was the first arena, and then the second arena is down here. Uh, it's sort of near the the crater, I think. The crater is just around here. Yeah, the meteor crater is just over here. So it's just on the left of there. It's right in the aeroplane graveyard. Um, so we'll teleport to this one. And again, you can go in into the arena in free mode as well. <coughs> if you want to do that. Now this... The previous one was sort of like an arena battle. These ones here are a bit more like a figure eight sort of race. So you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. They're a little bit of a different kind of thing. So you have checkpoints like a normal race. And it's like a figure eight course and you have checkpoints. Um, yeah, it's more of like a race style demolition derby instead of like a, a arena demolition derby. And then, like you can see that sweeper thing there. Um, there's like the arena will have little things as well that can hit you. So you've got to watch out for those. And you can see in the top left corner, we've got a progression bar there. <laughs> and you can still uh, get damage as well from these races so well that was like a head-on collision there and you still get power-ups as well like the arena sort of mode which is pretty cool you know, the easiest way to take these corners is just to wall ride you can like you can get like right up on here and wall ride and you don't actually have to turn then you hit him with lap to eight placed person there and obviously the more you upgrade your car just like with any of the other races the easier it actually is to um win these races the thing that you have to watch with this figure 8 one is when you get a bit further ahead like I am now when you get to this crossover point if there's somebody coming you can actually get side swipe now and then which isn't always the best there's some Joe out there and we got the repair bonus this is a Pretty good race. And these demolition derby cars, I'm not watching where I'm going. 
These don't motion derby cars, they kind of act like four-wheel drive drift cars as well. So they're very good at drifting in free mode and stuff. Uh, so if you want like a four-wheel drive drifting kind of experience, then pick up a one of these demo derby cars and that's very much what they're like. And there we go, we destroyed that person there. <coughs> so we actually won that race and we got 16 grand, which is pretty decent, I think. So they're the things you got to watch for, there's those like sweeper things. And there we go. Um, so we're in free mode at the minute, you can actually still drive around in free mode if you want to. Like you can actually see uh, there's a few people, like this guy right here. Um, like people just come and razz around. And like all the other races as well, um, the sort of NPCs that drive around even in free mode, they will they do it on the Demolition Derby courses as well. So if you want to have like a free mode impromptu style race, you can actually do that. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, we've had a brief look at the Hovercraft uh, Gator Rush update, which I hadn't covered yet. So um, I know this is a little bit late, this video, but I've covered that for you. And the Demolition Derby um, update, which came out in December. And... Uh, Hopefully I'm going to be posting a channel update video uh, for you guys soon. I'm going to be telling you what we're going to be doing in 2019 as far as content, uh, when you can expect content, any new features of the channel, that kind of thing. I'll hopefully get that video out for you guys soon. Um, but I'm going to be posting a bit less content than I usually do. Um, obviously I haven't uploaded for a few months now. I'll probably upload maybe once, twice a month. Um, because obviously I'm at school at the moment and that comes first. Um, so if there isn't as much content, I all I can do is apologise for that but I do actually have to get through school but I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on that so um, that yeah that's going to be it for this video if you've enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe um, that's it I guess thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video